Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the default keyboard shortcuts in Reaper. Now everything we do in Reaper is performed with an action. And we can see them all. If we go up here to the actions menu, show action list, and we can see a list of all the actions we could choose from. If we look over here to the left, we can see the keyboard shortcuts that are assigned to each action by default. And as you could tell, there's a whole bunch that are not assigned. And we could assign them by choosing them and going down here and choosing it. And then hit the keyboard shortcut we want to use that keyboard shortcut to trigger that action. But like I said, there's already a whole bunch of default keyboard shortcuts that are worth knowing. And we're going to go through each one in this video so we can learn them. Now, if we ever want to find what keyboard shortcut goes with an action, just go right here to find shortcut, type in that keyboard shortcut, and it takes us right to that action. Or if you want to see a list of all the keyboard shortcuts you're currently using, just go up here to the help menu and choose key bindings and mouse modifiers. And that opens up our browser where we can see the mouse modifiers or we'll scroll down to see all the keyboard shortcuts assigned to the actions. But like I said, we're going to go through all of them in these videos. And we're going to do them in the order of the menus. Starting with the file menu and going through all the actions in that menu. But we're also going to include any actions that go with that menu that are not necessarily in that menu. Like we'll do the edit ones next and include a lot more actions and keyboard shortcuts than this. So let's get started. So the first action in the file menu is new project. And the keyboard shortcut on PC is Control N and on Mac is Command N. If we hit that keyboard shortcut, it closes the project we have opened and creates a new one. And if we didn't save the previous one, Reaper would ask if we wanted to. But if we want to create a new project without closing the opened one, we could choose this action instead, New Project Tab. And to trigger this one, on PC, it's all Control N, and on Mac, it's Option Command N. And if we choose that, Reaper creates a new project, but it doesn't close the first one. It's still here in this tab. And we can keep both of them open at the same time. In fact, we can create as many as we want just by hitting that keyboard shortcut. We have different projects for each tab open at the same time. We could also open projects that are already saved with this action. And the keyboard shortcut on PC is Control O, and on Mac, it's Command O. And if we choose that, it opens up the Open dialog, and we could choose a Reaper file to open. Next, we could save our project, Control S on the PC or Command S on the Mac. And it's going to save the current project without renaming it based on the current save name. But if you want to save as and rename the project, we could do that here. On PC, it's all Control S, and on Mac, it's Option Command S. And it's going to save our project with the ability to give it a different name. And if we want to save as with an auto created name with an extra number at the end, just choose this action instead, which on the PC is Alt Shift Control S or the Mac Option Shift Command S. And if we hit that keyboard shortcut, it automatically saves it adding a number to the end, which we could see 
if we go to our hard drive, here's the original file we were using, and here's the new version we just saved. Notice it puts the number one at the end. Hit it again, and Reaper created another version of that file. This time, adding the number two. And we could also close our projects with this action. Using the keyboard shortcut on the PC, Control F4, or the Mac, Command F4. And if we choose that, each tab is closed each time we hit that keyboard shortcut. Till we get back to just the first project we were using. So to close the current project or the project tab that we're currently using. And we could also choose this action right here to render our project. On PC, it's all Control R, and on Mac, it's Option Command R. And if we choose that, Reaper opens up the render dialog right here. We could render master mixes, stems, or both right from this window. And we could also open up the batch file converter right here. On PC, it's Shift Control F, and on Mac, it's Shift Command F. And if we choose that, it opens up the batch file item converter so we can convert any file type we choose to another and convert them right here. And we could also choose to save live output to disk or bounce with this action. The keyboard shortcut on PC is all control B and on Mac, it's option command and B. Choose that. And we could bounce or save live output to disk from this dialog. Just hit start, and everything we play in Reaper is going to record to a file. Now, as I mentioned before, there's certain actions that don't show up in this menu. If you're on Mac, you're not going to see the Quit Reaper action, but you will on PC. On Mac, it's in this menu. Quit Reaper, which you can trigger. On PC, Control Q, or Mac, Command Q. And that's going to quit Reaper. And then finally, although we don't see it in this menu, we could trigger the project settings to open up using this keyboard shortcut. On PC, it's Alt Enter, and on Mac, it's Option Return. So if we trigger that keyboard shortcut, it opens up the project settings. For this project, which we could also do just by hitting this toolbar button right here. But it's a bit quicker with the keyboard shortcut right here. So those are the keyboard shortcuts based on the file menu. In the next video, we're going to check out the edit menu. So that's the default keyboard shortcuts in the file menu in Reaper. Hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.